All right, I guess we should taste each other's chili, huh? Yeah, this chili looks pretty good. Here's mine. Mmm. I don't know. Your chili is good, Cartman, but I think mine is better. Try it. All right. Hey, this is great. It's a special recipe. Ah, this is really good, Scott. I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? What? Yes, I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. I switched it with chefs. It's delicious, chef. I hadn't planned on that. What I did plan on, however, was that my friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you that the chili con carnival was a trap. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Dankin's pony to bite off your wiener. What they didn't tell you was that Dankin's is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on sight. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Dinkins that violent pony killers were in the area. I also knew that you wouldn't go yourself for fear of having your wiener bitten off. You would most likely send your parents. And I'm afraid that when Mr. Dinkins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both your parents. Well, they was trespassing and I was protecting myself. I, I have my rights. My mom and dad are dead? I came just in time to see Mr. Dinkins giving his report to Officer Barbrady. And, of course, to steal the bodies. After a night with the hacksaw, I was all ready to put on my chili gun carnival so that I could tell you personally about your parents' demise. And, of course, feed you your chili. Do you like it? Do you like it, Scott? I call it Mr. and Mrs. Tenerman Chili. <laughs> <laughs>